Thank you for subscribing to this channel. This is a reading part C practice video. What fact does the case of Lucy Smith highlights about food allergies? Now if you read the paragraph you can read that. Lucy Smith was strolling through Canberra last July. Within moments she couldn't stand, gripped by pain so severe she feared she would pass out, the first sign of paralyzing diarrhea. This dramatic episode turned out to be caused by a newly acquired food allergy. Now if you read further, you can also read that the writer comments that most don't hit with the same force as Lucy's, but the physical and mental impact can nonetheless turn a person's life upside down, and may even be life-threatening. Now this means that he is indicating that food allergies can be debilitating. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now if we try eliminating the other options. Option A says that it is difficult to diagnose in certain people. There is no mention in the paragraph that food allergies are difficult to diagnose. The option B says that it is relatively rare in adult people. The other option says that food allergies often require urgent treatment however, there is no mention about the treatment of food allergies. Let's look at the next question.
According to the question what point is made about food intolerances? Now let us read the highlighted section together an allergy, according to immunologists, is the immune system overreacting to a substance that would ordinarily be considered benign. However, the term allergy is used more loosely by the general public. People say they are allergic to a substance because it brings about some kind of adverse reaction in their bodies, some of which can be severe and may resemble true allergic reactions, but unless the immune system itself is directly involved, experts categorize it as intolerance. Constant sneezing, itchy eyes or throat and inner ears, asthma, rashes, and diarrhea can all be signs of food allergies. Intolerance can bring on similar warning signs as well as things such as headaches, bloating, and general lethargy. By reading this section you should have understood that the paragraph talks about the similarities that allergy and intolerances have. This also indicates that because that they have similarities, it could be mistaken. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Let's look at the next question. According to the question, what is the phrase, via a different biological mechanism, used to explain? Now, if you read the section. To diagnose a food allergy, immunologists use a skin prick test in which a drop of a commercially extracted allergen is placed on the skin and the first couple of skin layers are pricked with a lancet. If a person is allergic, the immune system is stimulated sufficiently to produce a mosquito bite-like bump within 15 minutes. This testing method is, however, somewhat unreliable in detecting intolerances, because, while not fully understood, they operate via a different biological mechanism possibly involving chemicals in food-irritating nerve endings in the body. By reading this section, you should have understood that the phrase is used to explain why the skin prick test may not accurately diagnose food intolerance as it operates via a different biological mechanism which involves chemicals. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Let's look at the next question.
According to the question, why is the image of a fireworks factory used? Now, let us read the highlighted section together. The mechanisms that provoke an allergy remain a gray area. Souter says, it's like throwing a match into a fireworks factory. Hit the right place and you set off a chain reaction. Miss it and the match just fizzles out. That difference between lighting up or fizzling out isn't well understood. By reading this section, you should have understood that the image about fireworks factory is used to indicate that the mechanisms that provoke an allergy is not clear and if it hits the correct place, allergy could flare up. It also indicates that the when it will flare up or not is also not understood well. Therefore, option A is the correct answer.